Hey, yo, what's up, my peeps, your boy Smiley. So, uh, I know it's been some time, thought I'd update you. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, what am I making these stupid YouTube videos for? It's like I'm not even getting any subscribers. That's not what I'm looking for, but I'm seeing like my audience is just shrinking and shrinking the more videos I make and make. And it's like, what's the purpose? Videos aren't for everybody, but I, but um, I just stopped at 7-Eleven today. And uh, one of the workers were there, yeah, 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 you're that uh, YouTuber. But it's like, be because she knows, because that's the 7-Eleven I go to all the time. And like, you know, I told her about it. So uh, she she knows, that's how she knows, not that like she's a new subscriber or something. But um, anyway, I figure, you know, why not? Your brother Smiley has to has to keep keep on continuing. The, the reason, reason I stopped was because just like, you know, just like I said, things aren't really really working out on this YouTube front, you know, and like, like I said, I'm not planning on being the next making, um, millions of subscribers, making, making the, the cash dinero, you know, it's like, I'm just, I'm just, just make them cause, uh, it's, it's something, something I like doing. Another thing I've been talking to, um, I talked to, uh, talked to a couple girls and, um, one of them I saw and, um, and things didn't, uh, we had a date, uh, and, um, things I got thought at the end of the date were, were nice. We ended the date with a nice little kiss and like a hug and like, you know, I thought things were good. We'd have a second date. She got back to me the next day, um, sent me a text, said, yeah, you're a really good guy, but, um, you know, our work schedules aren't going to match up. She works during, during the week and has the weekends off. If you guys know, like I've told you before, I'm working, I'm working the weekends. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, so it's like my weekend is during the week and when she's usually work, working the week. So she kind of brought it up to me, like on our date, you know, she says, realistically, how do you see us progressing in a relationship when, uh, because I post a lot of stuff like Facebook and Instagram and stuff about like, you know, um, just the things I've done in, in 2020, I went to some, um, I went to, uh, some zoos, I think in 2019, I took that, uh, trip, trip to the beaches and stuff. Um, went to some zoos, went to some mountains, went to some waterfalls, went hiking and stuff. And I did this stuff on my own. And she's telling me, she's telling me, Oh, I don't know if I could ever do anything on my own, you know? And it's like, Oh, if I was with you, I would love to do stuff like that. But how realistically, how are we going to do this stuff? Cause you do stuff on your days off, which is during the week, during the week I'm working, you know, during the weekend is when I could do stuff, but you're working, you know? It's like, uh, we, we can find time. So anyway, uh, we went on a date the next day. She said things aren't going to work. So this other girl I'm talking to, um, we just kind of been talking on and off, but, um, she still seems interested. So, um, we're, we're talking about just meeting, uh, she says, maybe she says like, uh, Netflix or something, just, um, just, just talking, get, get to know more each other. Like, cause I mean, you can talk on the phone or talk even in, um, uh, uh, like online and it's like until you talk to somebody in person I, I at least my feeling is you don't really get a get a real feel for the person um, <sighs> sorry about my yawn you people might be saying brother smiley what are you doing yawning the day is just beginning it's like, I, I get no sleep I get no sleep at all so my day my day is all my days, whenever it is. Um, so that's been a downfall. Another downfall. Um, I, I kind of suffer a crazy anxiety. Littlest thing can, can set me off. Uh, so the other, a uh, couple weeks ago, I'm driving, I get a, uh, pulled over, um, get a ticket for, uh, uh, what do they say? Failure to maintain lane. To my knowledge, from what I saw, I was going in a straight line. The cop tells me, I was doing a little swerving, asked me if I was like intoxicated, but you know, it didn't give me a breathalyzer or anything. Cause he saw that, you know, I had my work clothes on and everything. He's like, I, I guess his thought was like, this guy must be dummy, you know, he coming from work and like, you know, I wasn't slurring my words or anything. So he's like, uh, I'm not gonna go. I, I, at least that's what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna go any, he's thinking I'm not gonna go any further with asking him any more questions about him being intoxicated or driving impaired or something, a drunk or whatever. So anyway, um, I was, I was so nervous because, um, 
I wasn't sure. It's It's been over, not saying I'm like the best driver, but it's been over like 20 years since I've got like a, a, a traffic ticket, you know? And, um, and so I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh man, and right after I got, got the ticket, I came home, no sleep last night, go to work, dead tired. So I'm talking to a couple coworkers and they're, they're, uh, uh, sorry, on and again, like I said, my, my night is some people's day. I'm just like sleeping whenever I can get a, get a couple seconds to sleep. Anyway, so I'm talking to a couple coworkers and they're telling me, um, you know, just calm down. These are the procedures you got to follow and this is what's going to happen. So, um, for on the ticket, it has, um, like a email address you can go to. So I went to the email address and I typed in like, you know, um, the information was looked for my phone number and, um, my email address. And so then, um, I got a response back from the, the, uh, muni muni I can't even say the word municipal court, um, saying, um, everything is virtual now where at, at this court where um, I, I had a court appearance, but now that it's virtual, it's going to be taking place over this uh, zoom zoom app. So um, I was worried because on the, on the ticket, it didn't have a time. Luckily in the email, it gave me a time eight thirty AM. Um, they said the day before my, my court date, um, it, it's, it's going to tell me, um, my court date, my court date's actually this this Friday, the Zoom t uh, meeting, whatever at eight thirty. Uh, so uh, on it, it says um, the judge or prosecutor will, you know, have a Zoom meeting we, with me at eight thirty, and it will talk about the ticket and talk about a payment or something. And um, it also told me one thing. I also, I was worried about what if the Zoom doesn't work, you know, because then I kind of looking onto, oh my God, if if I don't do this, there's going to be a warrant out for me, you know, for not, you know paying a ticket you know i'm like that's that has to be ridiculous so in the same email it's telling me if you're not able to um connect with zoom shortly after there's going to be um a call to, to my phone from the judge or prosecutor and we will discuss discuss things like that so th i i guess that's a positive for me not to freak out that they're gonna try to go do what they can do to get this situated handled before issuing, you know, a warrant. So, you know, not, I'm not, I was freaking out a little more calm, you know, so that's, that's good. Um, yeah, just about, uh, these, these girls, I'm just, um, I'm just really, really worried and stuff. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not like such the the ladies man. Um, I just can't get hurt. I guess like uh, I guess most people. If 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 you if you're going on a on a date or something, and um, like Saturday was our date. Um, after work, I came home to shower, and you know, with everything closed, she just came over. Um, I were just we we talked for maybe a good hour hour and a half just about life. And we had pizza and talked a little more. And then after the pizza, you know, just talked a little more. And then she she left. And um, I thought things were good. It ended well. And I thought things were nice. Uh, and then um, Sunday, she tells me, oh, you know, I don't think our schedule is going to mesh well together. You know, we're not really going to be able to spend any time. So I guess in a sense, she's looking for somebody with a the same um, work schedule as her, you know, have the weekends off. And I know a lot of people do have the weekends off, but um, I don't. And uh, I actually prefer that. I like that. I like the fact that my weekend is in the week. <clears throat> so I can do things like uh, things might not be as crowded or as packed, of course, with this pandemic. That's completely – that's actually completely the case because um, – when I went to the the uh, zoo, um, this one zoo, Turtle Black Zoo, I believe it was in um, in New Jersey, uh, it was like just there there were people there, but it wasn't like completely completely packed. I believe I went on a on a Monday, 
I know. I mean, other places I went to when I when I go on my um on my days off, even when I did the um, vacation when I went to um, uh, I think uh, Cape May in uh, New Jersey or wherever it was, southern New Jersey, and then for one week, and then the next week I went to um, that uh, in Maryland, Ocean City, Maryland. Th things were there were nice. I was just staying in the hotel and just uh, took a trip on the beach and went to the zoo. Went to that uh, amazing, um, uh, I think it was like Assateague Island or beach, whatever, and saw the wild horses. That was that was amazing. Um, and uh, I just enjoy enjoy doing things. At, at first, I remember when I first decided to venture out on on my own, like a while ago. You know, I was kind of worried, like, oh, man, I'm so, so weird and so nervous. This is just going to be me doing things on my own. Like, you know, I don't even have a girlfriend. I don't have, like, a, a best friend to just, you know, hang out with and go on these adventures with. But it's like, I'm not going to – nobody should let that stop them for having a, a good, fun, adventurous life. That is – that's 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 how I think. And, like, you know, I know some people are like, you know – Oh, brother Smiley, I can't be like you, man. I need somebody to do things with, man. I would feel like such a loser, such a freak. And it's like, hey, man, you're gonna judge me as a freak, as a loser. I mean, I guess it is. It is. It is what it is. Um, you know. But that's what I got. Uh, I just thought, you know, it's been a little bit. I thought I had to update on this uh, YouTube mumbo jumbo. Uh, anyway. Um, until next time, we will talk to everybody again. All right. Peace, love, and much respect to my, 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 little, my little community. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. Um, like, subscribe, give me some comments, do what you do. I'd appreciate any feedback. Again, peace, love, and much respect to everyone. All right. Later.